Roman the 30th chapter, verse 14, 50. Are you sitting there, Pam? Yes. Yeah, okay. Praise God. And my topic is C. Yes, C. C. The enemy don't want you to see. see. That's true. And God says, see. Mm -hmm. We need to see. Realize that the enemy don't want you to see what God's plan is for your life, his purpose. So you got to really look beyond what you don't see and see him. Amen. Amen. Oh. Amen. So tonight Thank I want you to look at verse Deuteronomy 30 chapter, verse 14 and 15. You kind of gonna stay in, in this area right here. Life and death, he's talking about it. Amen. Amen. Start at verse 14. But the word is very nigh unto thee. The word is what? Very, very nigh, nigh unto thee. The word is very nigh to thee. All right? In thy mouth. In thy mouth. And in thy heart. And is in thy heart. That thou mayest do it. That that what? <coughs> that you may do it. He's telling you where it at. <laughs> it's in thy mouth and in thy heart. Amen. Now verse 15, what I want to get to. See. Stop right there. He coming out. See. <laughs> you got to see it. It's in you. See, he says, see, you got a scripture, you might be on your heart all the time. Are you looking at it like he says, see it? See it like it's very important to, that it's in your mouth, you're talking it, and it's in your heart. So if it's in your heart, what it does? It brain changes. Amen. 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 Okay, let's see what we need to see. I have set before thee this day life and good. Okay, I like that part. I have set. I have set before thee this day life and good. Life and good. Everything is set up for your life and is good. Okay. And death and evil. So, and death and evil. So you got a choice here. <laughs> Which way you want to go? You're going to choose life. That's life in him. So you're going to see it the way he see it. Mm -hmm. You're going to do it the way he said do it. But if you choose death and evil, you're going to do it in who? Yourself. So today, we got a choice where we see it. How you see it? How you see your life? Do you see your life going the way that God is guiding you if it is a trial or tribulation or whatever coming up? Instead of looking at the trial as being a defeat to you, but you all look at it as being a good to you because if God going to show his power in the midst of that trial. Amen. Come on, it's going back to your character. Amen. How I react. I can either take it, get in a vent, or do it good. So it's a way of life. This thing. I want you to drop down to 19. Now look what else he said. I have called heaven and earth to record this day against you. I have, I have, I call heaven and earth to record this day against who? You. You. So whatever <laughs> you are doing it, or whatever you are doing, it's a, you calling it on yourself. So he gonna call the record on who? You. On you. Amen. He ain't gonna call it on me. He gonna call it on you. So why do we always blame other folk? 
what he said right here. I call heaven and earth today to recall this day against who? You mean? It's me. Whatever I done today, the record is on. On who? It's on me. If I got upset today, he recorded. Whatever I said today or done today, it recorded. That what? That I have set before you life and death. He said what? I have set before you life and death. So it's just like he said a table. You can choose either one. It's set. It ain't out of order. I might get out of order, but it ain't out of order in him. So I got a choice which one I is set before me. It said, life and death. And what? And what else said before me? Blessing and cursing. That deep. I got a choice. It's just like you said, I'm landed out here. You choose. You can choose blessing. Of curses. <laughs> but I like the last part where he said, therefore what? Therefore choose life. Now he telling you, therefore choose, choose life. life. Choose life. And that's something you have to really set your heart diligently about because your heart is wicked. Mm -hmm. It deceptive yeah. and it's wicked. So you got to seek God diligent, making sure that your heart is in the what right, right. position, yeah. right place, so you'll know between the different. Mm -hmm. Everything that looked like apple pie ain't apple pie. pie. <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> so you need to see. The choices that you make, don't be quick to make choices. Amen. See. And old folks said, weigh up the cost. Yeah. Cause if you don't, what gonna happen? Don't you see down here what's gonna happen in the other part of it? That both thou and thy seed may live. So it ain't only representing you, it represents your kids, your family, Amen. your choices that you make. It take everybody. It yeah. That both thou and thy seed may live. So I want my seed to what? Yeah. So I got to make sure I'm ch uh, my choice is life. Not death. Somebody give me something you done, done right there. You sure make the wrong choice. Chose the wrong man to be with. Okay, <laughs> chose the wrong one. Come on. Let's, let's. Now, there's a lot to be said out of this tonight. Y'all open your yeah. mouth to you. Know, <laughs> <laughs> it ain't about it. It, can, it don't even have to go for uh, by the man. Anything that you made a bad choice about. You mm -hmm. might have made a Bob bad Rock choice Carl. buying Indeed. something or whatever. Yeah. Something, well, it's, it, it's a lot of things. Yeah. You know, it's a play. Now, this God is trying to free us. Amen. We too close in Amen. that we don't let ourselves be free <laughs> and airy so God can free us. So when the enemy feel like when God bring the word, the enemy trying to kill you to get you keep you from getting what God trying to set you free. Amen. You start to pray and free me, free me. You won't <laughs> lie. So, come on. so he's selling you right here and make a choice. Don't Sometimes I made bad choices. Amen. Amen. I made bad choices because I didn't honor my intuition. Right. Okay. Sometimes you have to follow the first one instead of the second. 
in the midst of your bad choices or whatever you made, it don't not only affect you, it affect your family, things around you. Just name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for grace and mercy. Amen. See the choices that Amy, Michelle, people got kids. Your kids got going to be affected behind. Amen. So you need to make what? Right choices. Right choices. Amen. This is what I'm trying to trying to get to see this is what God trying to get us to see which way you're walking which life you want to live to prosper or you want to choose death death bring don't bring to nothing but he bring life to you amen, amen. see we're gonna I'm gonna show you we're gonna stay right here I want you to stay in there and go over here to first third same thing from one to six. Now look what he says. Stay in the room third. He, this way he got it. Stay in and just go to. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. When all these things are come upon thee. See what? <laughs> all these things mm -hmm. come upon thee. Now, you got to charge which one you come up on us. So we shouldn't get what? Upset. It could be a blessing. Or we brought something up on we sold out that you come back in. All right, come on. The blessing and the curse. Now see, he telling you the difference. People don't realize that. We need to, I think if we know a lot more about something, we wouldn't do too many wrong stuff. Amen. I think we want God to bless the cursing because when something's bad, it's bad, but we want him to make that right. But Amen. it's it's not a blessing, it's a cursing, so he can't make so that right. We got to look at it both ways, a way of choice of life. Mm -hmm. This way he's telling you, you, you got a choice. Yeah. You can choose me or you can choose the yeah. word. That even, with, I can put it with a relationship, with your job, you can go to work. And although they're doing you wrong on the job, you ain't getting the right pay, but you need to go in and do everything you both do, you do right, then God will make it right. Yes, he will. Amen. It don't make it seem. Amen. I think a lot of times we really look at each other, you can make your job a curse to you by your attitude. Your attitude, how you react, you can go in with different, uh, what's say, Make the boss man see you in a different way where you can't get blessed. Mm -hmm. Although you know you're underpaid, but give it to God and trust God that he's going to fix it where you're going to get what you're supposed to get. Mm -hmm. All right. Now look at what he said. Which I have said before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord thy God hath driven thee. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. And shall return unto the Lord thy God, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul, mm -hmm. that then the Lord thy God will turn the cap thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations. Whether the Lord thy God has scattered thee. Now see, if your attitude come into play to stay and doing good and not evil, God step in. Mm -hmm. See, you, you don't have to be in you. Mm -hmm. He will be. Amen. He will have the compassion mm -hmm. and move. Yes, Lord. And I saw, I said, Lord, thank you. Look what else he said. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of the heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. Mm -hmm. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. Now who going to do it for you? He is. Yes. If you do good, what you think you ain't going to get, you going to get. That's good. Amen. He said, whatever right, I'll pay. 
I like that we say, and the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land with thy father present. So he going to take what belongs to Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And give it to me. <laughs> and thou shalt possess it. Thank you. I know that's true. Amen. I got, like when I came here, I got that all a whole house full of funds that belonged to somebody else. Amen. I, Thank you, Jesus. I possess somebody else's stuff. Amen. And I know it's true. If you you do good, do right, you will possess. Stay faithful. And stay faithful. So I choose to stay faithful. <laughs> and he will do thee good. And multiply thee above thy father. See, he going to put you above your, your mama, your dad. He going to put you above them. Amen. Well, Barbara got that on there. Michelle and Lena, they're going to uh, be above. Amen. Amen. <laughs> My children got more than I got. Amen. They above me. Amen. He going to put you above. Amen. My mom and daddy didn't leave us nothing. Oh, all right, come on, verse 6, where well, I want to get. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. He's telling you, now he's bringing what? A change. I like that. Yeah. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thy heart. Who's going to circumcise your heart? The Lord. the Lord. So I need to submit my will to to the Lord. Amen. And, and the heart of thy seed. So why I ain't worried about my children. Amen. So he's gonna take care of my children. Amen. <laughs> to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul that thou may live. You gonna live. Amen. Amen. So stop thinking you're poor. Amen. <laughs> you go live. God may live. I ain't gonna be talking negative. I'm talking positive. Out of my mouth, I have. Amen. 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 And then he can you right back to verse 19. Go back, say it right where he had he said in Deuteronomy 30 and 19. I call. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Mm -hmm. That I have set before you life and death. I, I want you to get right here. I set before you life. So I'm accepting life. life. Mm -hmm. I got two, I got choices here. Yep. But my choice life. is life. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm choosing tonight. Thank you. Life. Good choice. I got good choice. I'm choosing life. Life and <laughs> life and every error of my life. My God. Mm -hmm. Thank God for life. Thank you. Now when you turn to do the wrong left. Uh -huh. I'm big. I'm dropping from back to book. I'm just going to do the wrong left. He said he called heaven to record on us. Let's see what the record is about. <laughs> we got to go to Deuteronomy left, 20, and 20 to 26. Now, this is the record. It's still talking about blessings and curses. Go to verse 20. And thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thine house and upon thy gates. So I, I got to do what? Write it. I don't think about her beggar. Write the vision and make it. Right. <laughs> All right. That your days may be multiplied. That your days may be multiplied. I suppose we multiply something every day. Your days. Multiply. I always see something that I've been. And what? And the days of your children, 
in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give them, as the days of heaven upon the earth. Heaven and earth. He controlled heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. I just thought about when Chris kind of said she got four. I don't know if she was all excited. And they said something, she said something about that. Give her a, a snack. She said, "I wouldn't want no snack. I just want to do good." Mm -hmm. So she got four folks. Oh, she got it today. She got God. Go. Go. <laughs> and she was busy worshiping God. Amen. So she got that. Amen. <laughs> all right, come on. For well, if ye shall diligently keep all these commandments which I command you to do them, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to cleave unto him. So my character need to be like who? Jesus. Jesus that's what we were praying earlier, by character. Yes. Our character got to be in the place where he said, for if ye shall diligently keep all these commandments which I command you to do, them to love the Lord your God, to walk in His ways, and to cling unto Him. So I need to cling to Him and walk in His ways. That means walking His way to love. Mm -hmm. Love your enemy. Amen. I need to put out more love. Yes. He is love. All right, come on. Then will the Lord drive out. All these nations from before you. He gonna who? He gonna do what? Drive who out? All these nations from before you. He gonna drive them. Enemies. Your enemies. Tell it. I. You ain't got to do. Nothing. <laughs> That's it. Give him praise. He's gonna drive them out. I think if we really take heed what he's saying, the body, the church would be on one accord, one mind, and he'd be full of control of the body mm -hmm. in the church. If people would allow God to be the full control in the body. Amen. God, I thank you. And what else? And ye shall possess greater nations and mightier than yourselves. <laughs> That's a great promotion there. A great than yourself. Boy. You if you stayed in the position obeying what God's saying, and all of a sudden somebody write to you um said, don't even know nothing about you. And know they're a millionaire here, and they you can have this. This is your little here, Thank you. You own this over here. Amen. I'm leaving this. God put it on somebody's heart. I leave it. You don't know. I don't even know. I'm just gonna leave it. Amen. Come on. God can do whatever you want to do. What set? If you set to do good. I thank God the night we were talking about Carol tonight. I want my Carol to be in bed. I can just see it. Amen. Amen. Okay. So what is it said? Every place whereon the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours. All right. Now, now I'm, I'm going to y'all now. Back to y'all. He said, every place where your sole of your feet shall tread. Okay. Your, where your feet go? When you walk, do you take over something? You're supposed to. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that, I never, I never, wow. do you take over, you just walking. <laughs> you can take it over. Amen. You can take the territory even on your job. When you walk Amen. in there on your job, you can, before you walk in the building, take it over. Amen. When you area you working at, take it over. Even when you walk in your house, take it over. Amen. 
See what thought that you got? <laughs> okay, come on. From the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even into the uttermost sea shall your coast be. That's a lot of territory. Where, where have you ever wanted to take over? Ask the question. What, you, what, if, what have you ever wanted to take over that you thought you couldn't take it over? Something you want to take over. Come on. That condemnation sometimes when people make you feel bad about not giving them something or, or you know how people use your own character against you. Mm -hmm. I just recently I said I and that's, that condemnation starts to get well maybe you just, and I'm like, no, nope, throw it out the window. No, nope. that's right. So I take, take it, it over. over. Mm -hmm. You take it over. It I mean you take it over. You take over things that people say about you. You take it oh, over. Yes, you don't set, call somebody, say it, and run away. You take it over. It ain't all about possessing property or right, something. Right. But you need to take over what you thread your feet over. Uh -huh. right. Something you want, take it over. Take it over. <laughs> I thank God I want today. And much as I want, and for everybody said, yeah, I ain't seen you. I said, now I'm back out here. I'm taking over. Taking over. I'm taking back over. I'm back taking it over. Come on. People know I'm back out there. So I'm like, we're going to vote with you this year. Oh, okay. Come on. Join me. Come on. I took over. Oh. See, you can take. There shall no man be able to stand before you. Uh, Say so what? No. There shall no man be able to stand before you. Nobody. Just stand before you when you see God. Amen. Come on. For the Lord your God shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you upon all the land that ye shall tread upon, as he had said unto you. So he gonna make folks scared of you? Yeah, we're yeah. with her, baby. <laughs> Amen. You, you, they gonna be afraid of you instead of you being afraid of them. That's good. No, people's character gonna change. About you. Instead of looking for you to respect them, they're going to respect you. Mm -hmm. When the children don't see you who you are, then the God going to make them respect you. It's good. But well, we got a lot of things to grab hold to, but God is trying to get us to see. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get verse 26. Behold, start right there. Now he's getting your attention. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. Now I said a. I looked at the word a. Mm -hmm. A blessing. Mm -hmm. So if he give me an a blessing, it's gonna be so much. To it's just gonna be a what overflow. Mm -hmm. A blessing. That it shall not be room enough to what? Receive. If I receive the A blessing, but if I don't receive the A blessing and don't do good, I'm going to get an A curse. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I wonder sometimes do people really realize the choices that they make? What you choose, and you say I'm gonna live my life. And life, your life brings what death to you when you say I'm gonna live it. 
But if I live in the call to what his word said, I'm gonna I'm gonna be blessed. I think a lot of people are just in denial or maybe they're in delusion and they just don't see it. Cause I'll talk to somebody and they don't see that they're walking in death or curse and it's not good, but <laughs> that's like maybe a woman, she's with a, a man that beats her, you know, talks to her wrong or that's not good. That's, that's something bad. That can't, that's not a blessing. And sometimes people, like I always try to tell my to, to myself, see it as sin. Whether you sleep with somebody and you get pregnant, or whether you sit up there and took that last cookie from the cookie jar and you lying and say you didn't do it. Sin is sin. You people, I think a lot of times they are getting caught up in a delusion because they think, well, what I did is not as bad as what she did. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, it's still all a sin because, okay, that person might have gotten fornicated and had that baby, and that's the outcome of it. But you took that cookie and you lied about it and said you didn't. You never know who else saw you. And you might be the only Jesus that person saw. Yeah. Or they look at you in a whole, totally different life. They're like, if you took a, a cookie snack and you could have asked, I mean, uh -huh. what else would you see? <laughs> yeah. So that's why I say it is a delusion that people are under. Yeah. I think within, a lot of people think uh, sin, little sin ain't big as a big sin. Ain't nobody so, lies. But like you said, sin is sin. Whatever way you do, God don't look at it like man yeah. look at it. He said, don't do it. You do it. That's sin to him. So it just being, you said, go back to sin. This is what you choose. So what you choose, you have to take the consequences behind what you choose. Life or death. I was looking at them. They call it a joke on the news where this guy ran in this place and stole this woman's pocketbook and he took off the run. And those them doors that turned like this, he ran, ran into the door and knocked himself out. <laughs> Trying to steal, so the charge he made, all the <laughs> He thought he got away. He made it made the wrong choice, amen. Yeah, yeah. And the consequences that he paid yeah. were it knocked him out. out. Now oh, you're okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm saying, I'm laughing, but it's funny. The consequence that the enemy will make you be a fool when mm. you come to, I wasn't being a fool, I was, thought I was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She ain't had no money in the first Read verse 27. We're going to be on A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. See, a, the, he commented out, a blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God. God. So, right there, that's a full benefit. When they talk about uh, liking in every area, in the world talking now, but God said, blessing, you would not be lacking of nothing. Amen. I'm excited. <laughs> I ain't going to be lacking of nothing because he going to see that my stuff being taken care of. Taken care of. <laughs> if I do what he said, I choose life. I choose the blessing of God. So God going to take care of Amen. I ain't gonna have to go to the bank and steal net. <laughs> come on. I ain't trying to please. Y'all come on and be there with me. Y'all let me like, oh yeah. <laughs> you right, yeah. I mean, and you have to speak that and believe that. You can't you have to believe that he's gonna take care of you. Yeah. And he will do it. Yes, he yeah. is. Go back to 30. Go back to 30.
and in verse 15, verse 19. Now this is what he said, this is the last thing I'm going to get the other two. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. When all these things are come upon thee, mm -hmm. the blessing and the curse. Okay, it shall. He's telling you it shall come to pass. So I don't care how long it takes, God don't bring it to pass. Okay, look at verse 15. That's how I'm, I'm skipping. It's the last part you said. See, see, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. So now he wants you to see this. Now he said gonna come to pass over here at verse one. Now he said verse 15, see, <laughs> I have set before thee this day life and good, death, and eat. So that fourth thing he's saying, remember these four. Mm -hmm. If you remember these four things, if it's life, so it's going good with you. <laughs> See, if it's death, that means dried up. <laughs> All right? Then he said, okay, get 19. Now he said again, I right, what? I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore, choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. So he really telling us, I want you to choose life. life. Bless So he turned around still giving you a choice. Said, but I rather less choose life. I done told you what is set before you. Mm -hmm. You got a choice. Mm -hmm. But I rather to choose life. life. Mm -hmm. Because the consequence of not accepting life mm -hmm. is death. And evil. And evil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We don't count up the call. We just do stuff. I think sometimes, too, all we've known is cursing or bad things. Like growing up, we had it hard, you know, struggle. But that's all I knew. So yeah. that's what I chose. Yeah. Again, it, sometimes you got to get, see something else in order to want something else. That's true. What you. I've been saying sometimes what you around and you, you hear so much negative stuff, you feed off of it. You just become. And you do. Now that's a choice. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to use myself as a sample, then I let you. I thought about when we was coming up, now my, my head on my mama's side and my daddy's side, they drank a lot. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of alcohol on my side, a lot of drink. And my mama, first time I ever saw a person go in DTs with my mama, mm -hmm. I never saw nobody uh, like that. And uh, when I saw her, it, it really uh, stunned me, you know. Mm -hmm. And I made up my mind, when I saw that, I said I wasn't going to drink. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't want that. Although I was raised around, so it's... I didn't fall in that category with that. I, I didn't know. I tried to. Now, I tried to drink, <laughs> but it didn't fit me. I tried to smoke. It didn't fit me. So I didn't get that part because I, did, I didn't like the way it did. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for that. Out of all of us, when all of us wasn't caught up in that. Amen. 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 God placed so hard to do something for a certain amount of time. In every series, it seems like so much stuff been happening. Like, I've been other kind of sick, and at work, I gotta do double work, and then, like, stuff is starting getting on. It feel like pressure more. Mm -hmm. But I know that if I stop doing what I told God I was gonna do, then it could be worse. 
and it's just for a certain amount of time. So I'm deciding to choose life and still going through with my other stuff. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's like you get the, I know, and it's like I get this glimpse of what's good to come after, mm -hmm. after I finish what I'm supposed to do. Amen. So that that you, if you do good, like he said, keep it coming, because you're doing it unto him. Amen. So by you doing it unto him without mumming, grumbling, and can through all through change, then at the end of he's going to watch you. See, it's just you going through. So, so you're going to get light. You choose light instead of death. Because in a way, he's going to watch in an area that you never thought you were watching in because of your obedience. Because death and life is in the Long as you do right, don't don't curse yourself. Get keep moving. God will bless. Amen. Amen. I want you to go to Mark 16, 16. Let me show you. you know. Mark 16. Mark 16, 16. Verse 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, mm -hmm. but he that believeth not shall be damned. So I believe his choice. I believe so I'm not. I'm not there. Everything that's over here and do the wrong, I believe what you say, I'm going to obey. Amen. Over in Matthew, I'm going to say Mark, it says, but he that believeth not shall be damned. But I believe it, what he says, so I choose life. Amen. So I ain't going to be damned. I'm going to be Bless and have life and life more abundant. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. So he telling you, you say. I'm gonna have some good things. I'm gonna have a roof on my head. I'm gonna have these things. Because I'm taking heed to what he said. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to see how not to waste my money. I ain't going to waste myself. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he's going to tell me how to handle my goods. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, oh, let's go to see. He came us to John 3.16. Choose life. Don't choose death. 
Don't choose curses. Don't choose to eat. That's the cares of this world. Choose me. You gonna live. What y'all see? What you see tonight? Come on, call back to me. You see what? Life. So you see life in him. So if I see life in him, so my character should be life, not doom. Yeah. Because I have a problem. Yes. I shouldn't have mood swinker. He said, don't you dare. They'll bring me bad hair. And bring what? Evil. Evil. <laughs> Think about it. Only way my character would be, I got the love. I can keep He is. Keep loving. What are they doing in just Keep loving. Come on. Keep speaking. Keep flowing with love. Because he gave it to you. So I'm going to live and not die. Now he done set it up. I got to set it up. Death, a life, blessing, a curse. I'd rather have blessing. Amen. 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 It's already fixed. It's Amen. already fixed. Mm. You know what came to be a fixed fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's already, he done fixed it. Amen. He just got to walk it out. Just walk it out. Because yeah. he said, speak it over there out of your mouth and it's in your heart. Right.